January 24th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, we're going to start off with the earth changes, scott.net. Uh, some more news coming out of Vietnam. Cold ruins peach blossom harvest. Uh, apparently uh, in northern Vietnam, uh, their peach crops, that they're just saying they're lucky if the trees are surviving, let alone trying to get a crop out of it this year. Uh, they've got a video of U.S. shivers from season coldest weather. Bitter cold grips most of the U.S. currently in the northeastern United States. As many, 32, as many as 32 eastern states are seeing heavy winter snow. Temperatures in many states are seeing double-digit negative temperatures. We're getting really cold here at night. And they have two pages of this today. So there's going to be a lot going on. Other headline story right now is weird weather patterns perplex scientists. But judging by the weather, the world seems to have flipped upside down. And uh, they've got a 6.1 earthquake in Tajikistan, and that is in Asia. Um, they've got the story where the <clears throat> USDA Wild Service Program is taking blame for all the bird deaths here in the United States. They've got a story on sea otter deaths on the rise, 304 dead found in the Central Coast in 2010. Um, it's in California. Uh, they've got a, another story about the pole shift, but it's just like uh, people looking into it kind of thing. And we have hundreds of fish die in County Atrium River in Ireland. Hundreds of fish have been found dead in the Six Mile Water River in County Antrim. Uh, New Zealand had some aftershocks. Uh, quake shook house like dog with a bone. Uh, roofing contractor Tony Stewart awoke today wondering how much more damage his house could absorb in the shake, rattle, and roll of the latest earthquake aftershock in Christchurch. The 5.1 on the scale aftershock hit at 6.03 a.m. and was centered 10 kilometers southwest of Christchurch at the depth of 10 kilometers. There were few immediate reports damaged, but Mr. Stewart, who lives in this Cashmere Hill, said the whole house was shaking on its foundations. The whole house just shakes like a dog with a bone. <laughs> Um, so Christchurch is still having major aftershocks after that great big quake they had this summer. Um, we got another story out of New Zealand. Storm pounds North Island. Walls of sandbags are being erected as dozens of Auckland house owners prepare for a second bout of flooding in 24 hours. And then we're going to go over to the Extinction Protocol. Well, they've got a story in India. 50 tremors in 12 days. Massive change is underway. Um, Rajkot, R-A-J-K-O-T. Fresh tremors continue to be felt. Um, I'm not going to kill these words. Uh, 10 tremors were reported from the two regions on Wednesday and Thursday, according to the Institute of Seismological Research. On Thursday, three tremors were reported in the Kutch region. On Wednesday, two tremors were reported in the Sharshastra, and five in Kutch. So they've got a bunch of quakes going on in India. Uh, Auckland Be Beach seeks under unusually high tide and rain. Um, Auckland, firefighters have been called to more than 100 incidents related to the flooding with the worst affected areas in Auckland's North Shore and Eastern Suburbs. Nova Scotia, coastal town hit by storm from hell. Uh, Hallsburg Harbor, listen to this. Strong winds and unusually high tides played havoc when the tiny bay of Bundy community overnight on Friday. The winds and raging ocean lashed at buildings, 
ripped off wooden shingles and covered the parking lot with seawater and washed banks away. The storm scattered debris and ripped six large propane tanks from the mooring, causing an, an anxious moment for firefighters and local residents. Washing banks away. Well, there's a little good news. A 3.5 magnitude earthquake shakes western Scotland. And then they've got the Ireland fish story. Brutal cold Arctic blast to drop temperatures to 50 below Fahrenheit with wind chills across Maine. So here comes the bad, bad cold, guys. And then they've got the 6.1 earthquake in Tajikistan. Now, the Disaster Alert Network, um, <clears throat> they've got a story, tourists stranded at airport closed to Mount Everest in Nepal. Uh, six days these people have been stranded there because the weather's just been so severe. And I know that's just the area, but uh, it's pretty crazy. And then uh, farmlands destroyed as floods sweep across Victoria of Australia. And... Uh, just the flooding's ongoing. It still hasn't all drained away. And, <clears throat> and as uh, Weather or not has been reporting, they've got another cyclone in the area and uh, all kinds of things going on. That's about it for the climate change for today. Um, thanks, everybody, and uh, enjoy what you can.